network attached storage platform. He said it's uh, based off of FreeBSD, uh, which is a, uh, based off of Unix. I know it's not Linux, but I still think it's in the, uh, yeah, this, this, <laughs> very much so, yeah. in the scope of this meetup. So essentially, how it works is you, you have a uh, USB drive uh, that it boots off of. And that's where the operating system is stored. You can, the reason you want to do that is because it separates the the hard drives, so you have all the storage capacity of the hard drives, and then everything's run off of that one USB key. And I got it sticking out right here. So that's, it's already preloaded with FreeNAS. I would, I would demonstrate that, but it takes about five minutes to install that onto the USB drive, and I don't want to go through all that. So I've already got it preloaded onto this USB key. And you can use old hardware. It works just fine on, on just low power machines with just a couple gigabytes of RAM, uh, just, uh, slower processors. However, if you're going to do something um, uh, in terms of data duplication and mirroring, you want, and uh, with ZFS especially, you want a ratio of one gigabyte of RAM to one terabyte of hard drive space. So you gotta keep that in mind. So if you get into more complex data duplication scenarios, you wanna start beefing up your hardware a little bit, especially the RAM. And so uh, why FreeNAS? I know, I know we talked about, we had a little discussion about Amahi, and I'm not doing a presentation on Amahi. <laughs> Uh, it's, Amali is a very similar type platform where you, you turn a uh, machine into a network attached storage and it's got all sorts of services that you can, uh, that you can utilize. Uh, the reason I didn't do Amahi is because the data duplication is not as good as it is on FreeNAS. And I think a lot of us could benefit from this, this, this turnkey, out of the box, easy data duplication scenario and, and, and platform. So that's why I didn't, I didn't choose that. Also, the the uh, automatic backups uh, via rsync uh, works very well out of the box with FreeNAS, and that was kind of another uh, selling point for not, not choosing Amahi. Uh, Amahi and FreeNAS, they have great file sharing capabilities. Uh, this one out of the box, you just do a couple clicks, a couple little commands, and boom, you've got uh, Windows shares, you've got uh, Linux shares, and, uh, and, and Mac OS shares as well. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a live demonstration, uh, and I already I've done it four times, so I know it works. <laughs> so let's keep our fingers crossed for no demo failure. If it works, we wouldn't be used to it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, plug in the actual free NAS box. I've got I've got a, a unit with it's got a Pentium processor, uh, four gigabytes of RAM, and two two terabyte hard drives. So I'm going to plug this bad boy in and, and boot it up. You run the rate zero on those? Uh, I, ZFS. I'm, I'm still kind of new to the whole RAID array. And, uh, are they mirrored? <laughs> they, 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 are, they are going to be mirrored. And what I'm going to do is uh, they're, they're, they're not allocated. They haven't been uh, created. The file system has not been create, created on these. So I'm going to do that. It only takes a couple seconds. So let me plug this bad boy in. 